Hey, T Sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I have a special guest that's coming to interview with me. So if you guys don't know, I'm going to be interviewing Michi is so crazy. I know there's all types of rumors about him online, a lot of speculations. I want to talk to Michi and really allow him to tell his side of the story. And so people can know more about him. I see a talented young man. He can dance, he can sing, he can hoop. And I want to show everyone this other side of Michi. And I hope you guys enjoy this interview. Hey, T Sippers, I have a special guest with us today. We have Michi. He's so crazy. He's in the house, and today is his birthday. So happy birthday, Michi. <laughs> so how old are you now? 25. 25. You are not 25. I'm the big 25. Are you really 25? Yeah, I don't know why everybody, everybody think I'm a kid. Like, I'm really dead. I thought you were, like, 19. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, well, that's a blessing. Be happy. Yeah, yeah. Be I, happy I look, that I you look, look young. young. You do. Uh -uh. I, look, yeah, I'm, 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 I want to keep it that way. Yeah, that there's nothing. I, I'm the same way. There's nothing wrong with that. I have a 17 year old son. Oh, why? why? Right. So, <laughs> so me and you are in the no. same boat. I really thought you were like 19. So that that's good. In yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I'm glad that you decide to come on the show and chop it up with us. So I want to just kind of like just really get to know more about you. And, you know, sure. we're, we're going to ask you some questions. We want you to spill some yeah. tea, okay? That's what we do here. But we also want to make it about Michi, okay? So, basically, like, for me, how you first came into the public eye, I know that you're from D.C., correct? Yeah. Okay, so I know you were doing Vine, but I didn't really know you from Vine, but I know, like, a lot of the younger kids, they knew, they knew you from, like, your Vine videos. Do it for the Vine. I ain't going to do it. Do it for the Vine. I ain't going to do it. All right, don't do it then. <laughs> But yeah. how you came to my attention and our channel was when Rob Kardashian went off on Black China. Uh, and, you know, he posted that infamous video of you and her kissing and he was going off. So how did you feel to go from, you know, just being, you know, your regular self, you know, doing music, doing your thing, to now, you know, you're on TMZ, you're all over the blogs, and that's what people know you for, but you're, you know, you're more vast than that. You're more multifaceted than just being one of Black China's guys. Yes, yeah, of course. I mean, when when it first happened, I was, you know, I was upset. I'm not even gonna lie, I was mm -hmm. mad, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you got me, I've been grinding and doing my thing for about five, six years before I even met China, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've been been in a group, I was in a senior group, we were signed to uh, Universal E1, we've been on major tours, did BT Awards, we've done so much, I've done so much leg work before I met her, to the point where, when that stuff happened, all of that got pushed to the side. Mm -hmm. So big and so huge and so messy, all of that just got pushed right to the side, and it's like, oh, who's trying to do, who's side nigga, or who's trying to do boyfriend, or who's da 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 da, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying, but I was, right. I was definitely upset. You know, I was very upset. Uh, but when it, when it actually, when it happened, I really was like, you know what? Let me see how she's doing though, because I know, you know, that she posted her new and the mm -hmm. whole nine yards. So I made sure she was okay before I even stepped back and like, damn, this, this really set me back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, that entire situation was messy, and then I know a lot of people had you mixed up with the other guy. People thought y'all was one and the same. It was just, it was such a mess, that whole entire situation. And then, you know, as of recently, then you guys suffered another leak. And I remember you ranting and going off about that with the, um, you know, with her sex tape, like the more graphic sex tape coming out. So were y'all behind that? Did you have anything to do with the leak? Because let's be honest, nobody knew it was you until you came out and said that it was you. Look, uh, see, no, the, thing, the thing about it was... Um, First off, I didn't leak the tape. Okay. I, I, I mean, I can't. I don't think she would do that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, it. I don't. It wasn't her best performance. You know I mean, of course. But um, and side note, she definitely does it better than that video. You okay. Know what I'm saying? All right. We'll give her props. But, but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we definitely neither one of us. I don't. I don't think neither one of us. I don't think we did. I don't think she did. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hopefully Right. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not really uh, thinking about the tape anymore or anything like that. But mm -hmm. when it first happened, I was getting a bunch of DMs. You know what I'm saying? I was getting a bunch of DMs like, uh, yo, I, I slowed the video down. I see your tattoo. I know that's you. Oh, uh, my gosh. 
But my fans like, I know that's your voice, Michi. Let me know. Tell me. Nah, 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 nah. And at this moment, I'm literally in uh, sh- shooting a video. I'm okay. shooting a video that morning. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm up bright and early, like 6 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Like, curry and stuff, like getting the team together. We're about to shoot a video. And I'm getting crazy DMs and stuff like that. And I'm like, yo, I split with her. I split from her. Mm-hmm. That was months ago. I'm trying to move on. You, you know what I'm saying? And now right. I got to deal with everybody already put me back into the light again. So even though no one really kind of knew it was me, mm-hmm. a lot that know me knew it was me. And that okay. was enough for my mentality. That was enough for, for me because it just it triggered me. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, we got to go through this again. Right. I'm writing a video. I'm trying to move on with my life. Trying to get my music back situated to where it's supposed to be, and now I got to deal with my dick, you know what I'm saying, all over. You know what I'm saying? So right. that was my mindset. Even though I kind of reacted too soon, mm-hmm. maybe you know, I should have listened to y'all. But you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, actually, is it is it still there? Yeah, you're still here, kind of froze, but you're good. Yeah, yeah, I should have I should have waited. You know what I'm saying? Listen to my PR and kept my composure a little bit because I know it's made me seem like, oh, he thirsty for this or thirsty for that mm-hmm. when all in all I mean I, I pretty much already got the light that I, that I needed from all of that anyway you know what I'm saying right. I didn't need no more I didn't need nothing else right you know and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought up the fact because I didn't realize that and that's one thing about the internet honey you know we're a bunch of bootleg detectives and forensics people I didn't realize we were slowing down the tape and matching your tattoos yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm glad were, you brought that up because I, that's what had me confused like well how did people know yeah. just from seeing, you know, that? Yeah. And, and then, of course, you got, I mean, that, you got people screen recording the video. And mm. people, so it's coming from androids and it's blurry. So people saying, oh, it's dark. It's too dark. It's not his penis. And I'm like, I don't got time to <laughs> sit right playing no other man's penis. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, right. So I know it's me trying to know it's me. And, and that's, that's, it is what it is, you know? Okay, so y'all still cool? Like, do y'all still talk, or have you just moved yeah, yeah, on? Yeah, we still cool. Okay. I mean, we don't, don't, we don't, we don't talk like on a daily basis or really talk like that. But everything's cool, you know. No okay. bad blood, you know. Still here for one another, you know. Okay, good. So let, let's talk about Michi, okay? So I want to know how you got that name, Michi, so crazy. How'd you get that? Well, my name is Demetrius. So okay. Everybody just always called me Michi for short. You know, they just call me Michi, and every um. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of wild, you know. It's definitely when it comes to the ladies. So every females just always used to say, "Me too, you are so crazy." You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. they all said that since I was in high school, and it's just something that just stuck with me. So when I when I decided to do my music, I was like, "Me too, so crazy." I'm I'm always, you know what I'm saying? It I'm, fits. I'm, it fits. It's definitely a good fit for you. <laughs> So now, um, so how was it growing up in D.C.? Like, what made you get into the music game? And I heard you was initially in, like, a boy R&B group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, growing up in D.C. is always tough, you know, because mm-hmm. it's like crabs in the barrel in D.C., you know? Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a, lot of D, a lot of DMV artists and just DMV natives, they just don't really support one another, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of that. It's not like Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, to where... Everybody in Atlanta jumps on each other's records. Everybody in Atlanta, they lift one another. And they want Atlanta to be on top. Back home, if they on top, they want to stay there. They don't want nobody else there. They don't you know? want to share the spotlight. And it's, it's not fun when everybody can't eat. It's a yeah. lot better when you have multiple people who can travel and, you know, relate to you as opposed to trying to, you know, like you said, be a crab in the yeah. barrel because all you're doing is blocking your own blessings when you think like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, so, I mean, it was definitely a... Uh, Definitely a little hard growing up, you know, single, single family home, being me, my four brothers, my little sister, just my mom. So it was it was definitely tough, you know, mm-hmm. not having my father around, things like that was it was kind of a struggle. But, um, you know, my mother did the best she can. So and we turned out pretty great. So that's um, good. Cool. cool. <laughs> so now but, what is the name of your um, of your boy group? The group yeah, that you were in? Group I was in was called four, four EY, the number four, four letter E letter Y. Okay. Forever young. Okay. Uh, yeah, I ended up getting I ended up getting into that group. I was solo first for about a year and a half, two years. Um, then I ended up signing with a production company, and mm-hmm. the company put me with another guy and said, "You guys should be a group. It sounded like a good idea." Mm-hmm. No group area. So we did it. You know, started touring, and then it just worked. We came out to Atlanta. We did a song with Zaytoven. Uh, and then it just started going crazy. Baby, scoot over. 
It's cool. It started going crazy on the East Coast, and um, we ended up getting a deal from it. Okay. And the deal, as soon as I did things like that, we kind of got over. The guy that we was messing with had business all wrong. You know, he was hiding things from us. He was kind of like uh, playing devil's advocate and making each other, making one of us hate each other and things like that. It was just mm. a question. It was like some uh, some new addition shit. <laughs> okay. So you're no longer in the group. You don't deal with the group anymore? Um, I, um, I'm solo. But I was about a year and a half now. Okay. Okay. As soon as I went solo and got out of my contracts, I was working on another deal. I was working on another situation before mm -hmm. this stuff happened with China. And when that stuff happened, mm -hmm. the door because they didn't want to be a part of the messy shit. They didn't want to be a part of the messy situation. So also, oh, it really legitimately affected you, oh, like your career sure. and everything. So it wasn't because you know a lot of times people feel like you know if a sex tape leaks or somebody's involved with scandal, they get the Kim Kardashian treatment. But for a lot of our people, it don't happen that way. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Well, in our case, because I mean we didn't plan to actually put it out and actually do it. If then if then if we would have planned it and actually. Made the made made a real crazy video. It it would have went crazy for sure. Right. Was, that's that's not that's not our case. So um, it it definitely did not do me any any justice in a positive way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's not when you're not when you're uh, actually a real talented guy, a real talented artist that has so many different things to offer. You know, right. other than your penis and being someone's boyfriend you know what i'm saying right right and that is one thing that i when i went and i was like you know just watching your videos and everything and even back then when i was first doing the story because i'm like well who is michi you know let me find out more about him and you yeah. really are talented like you can sing you can dance you can hoop i'm like well damn what can he do you know what yeah. i'm saying so i mean and you know and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this now i don't want you to take offense to it okay but when I watch you and I watch like certain moves, like your style, you give me Chris Brown tease. Have uh, you ever yeah. heard that before? Yeah, a lot of people say that. They, okay. It's mean, a good comparison because I mean he is someone that I look up to, somebody mm -hmm. that I, um, you know, I don't. I'm the type of guy that I look at people, I look at their talent and I study people's crap. You know what I'm saying? Right. So Michael Jackson, uh, Jason Derulo, Usher, Genuine, Chris Brown. I, I study their crap and their talent. I don't mm -hmm. really get into the personalizing what people got going on, and you know, a lot of people they don't like because of stuff that he doing all that. But I'm like, listen, I don't give a fuck about none of that. The, the nigga can sing and dance, and he can he's one of the best performers ever lived. That's that's what I care about. You know what I'm saying? So right. I watch him. I, I, I still, you know, what I'm saying, just like any other great artist, we still mm -hmm. <laughs> we watch and still and make it our own. So that's why I'm, I mean, you guys, that's why I see a lot of people they be like, oh, Chris Brown. Yeah, I mean, I take a lot of his shit. It's cool. You know, the great But story. I mean, you take it, but you're good with it. It's not like, like, you're making it your own. You got to make it your own. But I mean, like, vocally, though, like, you have a really good singing voice. Like, you can literally blow. You know, so it's not like there's no auto tune, none of that stuff. Like you're just you're legitimately ta talented. So I think your time is coming. You know, I just think what slowed it down is just you know all the black China drama. But I think if you just keep it up and you just keep like focusing on your craft and keep putting out your work, you you're definitely building your fan base. And I mean, from what I see, like the newest video that you dropped the other day, like that, I'm feeling that. Oh, That's man. some sensual shit. You a bad little boy, Jody. <laughs> Uber on the way, you say you outside Pulled up in a tank, yoga pants on my guy All I wanna do is lay your body next to mine <laughs> yeah, that song I I'm feeling that I just dropped it uh, like maybe two days ago I just mm -hmm. dropped it. So, this is a song called Like That uh, Produced by this guy named Troy Taylor He's done like uh, Tyree's Sweet Lady He did okay. every songs uh ready album the neighbors know my name panty dropper can't help but wait um he's, he did that he, he do all of that you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying he's all of the records so i got a good team i got a good team i'm working with right now so that record is phenomenal you know what i'm saying yeah and it me, is i dance you know i'm on my genuine chris type thing you know i'm trying to bring i'm trying to bring that young youthful heartthrob back you know what i'm saying because right now mm -hmm. it's just 
Chris at, it's just Chris doing it. You know, he's still doing his thing. Then you got Trey and Usher. You still got the people, the legends kind of, uh, per se, at the top. There's no right. new artist to come back and, 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 and tour with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, of course, now when Chris Brown is touring with uh, a bunch of rappers and things like that, when I remember when uh, tours used to be Chris Brown, Trey, Omarion, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I would actually do that for the women. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying mm -hmm. to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hurry up and, and get my time so that we can put that back together. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now I think that's a good thing, and that's what I kind of got from the video. It's kind of like a '90s feel, even with the yeah. overalls, with the one, you know, hook, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. other one hanging down. That <laughs> might be like some Velvet Devoe '90s type <laughs> stuff. I brought out the Tims and the Jumper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah. I think you're right, and I think like nowadays, like especially in music, everything is so convoluted. Like, you have, you know, R&B singers rapping, and then you have, you know, rappers trying to be singers, and it's like everything is so convoluted. Like, everybody wants to, you know, jump ship and be in other people's lanes, but that's what made, like, the 90s and the 2000s special because everybody stayed in their lane. If I go to an R&B concert, I want to hear a bunch of R&B singers. I don't want to hear rappers. I don't want to hear drill music. I just want to hear R&B, so that's good that you're thinking like that because we definitely need, like, a new crop. We need new Jodeci's, we need new Silks, we need new Chris uh -huh. Browns, all that stuff. Yeah. It's, it's just time for the real music, that's all. Mm -hmm. So do you write all your own music then? Are you a writer as well? I, for the team. Uh, I work for the okay. team. I write, uh, I write some of my music. Uh, I write along a guy named Pinpoint Guard. Okay. I write along a guy named uh, Trayvon as well. And we all just collaborate. But okay. the song Like That was actually written by uh, Trayvon. Okay, nice, nice. What are some things that people don't know about you that you want folks to know about you outside of, like, all the drama, all the social media stuff? What's some, like, things that we can just, you know, that we can, like, relate to with Michi? I mean, the first thing that people need to need to get to know about me is that I'm actually talented. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's that's really the first thing because, like I said, I'm nobody's, I'm, first off, I'm nobody's side piece. You know what I'm saying? I never was, even in the last situation. I wasn't her side, nothing. I was that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never played a side role. I never will. I'm, I'm too valuable to ever be anyone's side piece. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's not me. I'm a, I'm a, I really do this. I sing, I dance, I play basketball. You know what I'm saying? I make sure my body is right. I keep my face clean. You know, I smell good. <laughs> um, <laughs> That the ladies need, you feel me? Mm. <laughs> now I definitely feel you on that one. So now, where can they go to buy your music to check you out? Like, what are your social media handles? Cause I know my tea sippers, they gonna want the tea on that. Like, where do they find Michi? Hey, now nah, my Instagram is Michi So Crazy, M E C H I E S O C R A Z Y. My Snapchat is Michi So Crazy. Okay. My Twitter so crazy with two Y's, but I mean, you can just go to my website, www.michisocrazy.com. It'll link you to everything. My music, all my music is on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, uh, okay. Google Play, Tidal, Tidal, however you announce it, you know what I'm saying? But it's everywhere. Okay, nice. So now, do you have a full album out? Are you working on some new music? Oh. Are these just singles? Yeah, I just dropped uh, my first single off of my EP. Okay. So yeah, I'm working on the EP right now, and I'll probably drop it maybe in a month or so. Okay, good. So I wanted you to talk about your basketball skills, because I was seeing the videos you were posting on Instagram. So did you play ball in high school? How did you learn to, like, just slam and dunk over people? <laughs> to college it was my way out per se you know what i'm okay. saying my mom my mother she can't she's not gonna be able to pay for five five kids to go to college you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? our way out was to play sports that was gonna get us out full rides and my mother she wanted everybody to go to college mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying she couldn't because she had kids at a young age so mm -hmm. I, she always kept us in sports no matter what even if we wasn't living with her when we was younger because we was all over the place you know homeless at one point in time I'm uh I'm living in Northeast DC. My brothers is in Maryland, or you know what I'm saying. We're going away for the summers, or you know what I'm saying. It's just a bunch of a bunch of having to go get it. You know you know what I'm right. saying. So, so um we stayed in sports. She kept us in just she kept us in sports no matter what. That was the one thing she 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 did, and that right there got us in college basketball, high school basketball, everything. I went play college ball. Played one year. I, I sat my mother down like, listen, this ain't what I really want to do. Mm -hmm. 
like, meet you. I just wanted you to go to college. You, you've done what I asked you to do. If you want to do music, then let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And as okay. soon as she said that, I'm like, <laughs> now it's just a hobby. I still, you know what I'm saying? I stay on top of my game. So any artist, anybody out there that want to play me or think they can beat me, mm-hmm. they can check the rock up. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I don't think artists can beat me in basketball. <laughs> So have you played at the, you know how like the BT Awards, they have like the whole slam dunk basketball thing in June. Are you going to be there? Uh, I haven't played in the BT, uh, in the celebrity games yet. I played okay. in a bunch of celebrity games, but always like Luda Weekend and um, other different uh, Allen Iverson games and okay. other big celebrity games, but never the BT one, like with the one with Chris and Justin and what mm-hmm. I'm saying. So hopefully this year, hopefully this year I'm going to the BT Awards and everything. I'm doing that this year. So um, Okay. Hopefully, hopefully this year, but I hope, hopefully they ready. Speak it into existence. You never know. If you're going to be out there this year, they might just tap you on your shoulder because you're just as good as those other celebrities I've seen playing because I've been to a few of those games. And I'm like, he really got skills. He needs to play for BT during the BT award. <laughs> it's like the 25th, I think. Yeah, it's coming by quick. Okay, so it's just like in like, it's like about a week and a half. Okay. So that'll be nice. I'm gonna definitely check for that. I'm gonna be out in LA, so I'm gonna definitely check for that. I'm trying to get like that to a million. I'm trying to get to a million streams. I'm trying okay. to get YouTube. I'm trying to, you know, take take this single like that to the top. And I need everybody's help. You know, I need your help. I need definitely. All of I, need, I need everybody's help. You know what I'm saying? Play it. Make videos. I'm doing a twenty five hundred dollar giveaway. Okay. To the person that make the best video to my song, you can dance. You can twerk. You can. Do your makeup to it, do anything, you know. Uh, I got all the information on my Instagram page, so. Okay, so they just need to post the video on Instagram. And yep, they get yeah. a chance to be in the contest. Instagram and uh, just hashtag like that and um, hashtag me in it. Okay. That's about it. And buy the single, of course. You know, you got to buy the single. Exactly. No, we'll definitely support you. That's one thing we do here is that we like to support black artists, black businesses, black actors, and everything else. So I will have um, your video linked in this video. I'll have it pinned. So people can go watch it. I really enjoyed it. If I didn't like it, I'd be like, no, I'm not interested. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep it real. But I do like it. Listen, my thing is right now, I'm in a place where I can I got to come correct. Yeah. You know, room to give people more bad stuff to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's, it's been enough. Now they need to actually see, like, this this guy really, he do this. And he must have been doing it for a long time because... He looked like this is what he really do. You know exactly. What I'm exactly. Yeah. And the the quality, the the shoot, it wasn't you know low budget. Like y'all spent some money on this video, so you can tell that you've been doing it for a while, and that like your talent really shines through. So I'm glad that you were able to put all that you know negativity behind you and really make it about the music. That's what it's about. Grace to God, of course, and not just that. My team, my team is amazing. You know, I, I mm-hmm. we we flew uh, we flew my mom out for the first time. She. Been to came to Miami and was on set of one of my videos. Oh, flew, that's wonderful! My, so my team flew my dancers out. They uh got my got the uh, Chastity Corset, the girl who shot the video. Mm-hmm. Flew her. She's been messing with me since I was in a group doing videos. So as I as I progress, she progresses. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just shout out to my team because everybody is working crazy hard for me right now. And that's the best. That's what you want around you is a good team. You know, yeah. people who are, like, really invested in your career and want to see you go to the next level. It's in the heart of finding people, you, you know, mm-hmm. if they don't believe, don't believe in the product, there's no way they're going to give their all and to sell it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Well, no, so. you definitely have a good team around you and you have a good thing going. Yeah. And I'm glad we finally got a chance to, like, really talk to you and, I know, and chop right? it up. I think the young little asshole out here... <laughs> Nah, that ain't me, man. I'm a ladies man. I'm a ladies man. Yeah, I'm, well, you know, we cleared up a lot of stuff. Because like I said, I thought you was like this little 18-year-old kid. And, you know, people thought that you were just trying to, you know, seek attention. I'm like, nah, we're going to find out the real Michi. So I, I'm glad you decided to come on hey, and, and sit with lucky. us. See, people lucky China don't do interviews. Because she, 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 she knows and she'll tell a lot of people, like, Michi, he got, he got his own money. You know, mm-hmm. he got his... He got his own everything. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? That's right. one of the things I actually liked about me. You feel me? So. That you have yourself I, together. Like for nothing, especially not a woman. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, so maybe when you drop your EP, definitely come back. Let us yeah. know. I want to check it out. Listen to it. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and download some more of your music on app because I have Apple Music. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. That's All right. It. So we'll go ahead and get everything situated. So thank you once again for interviewing with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. All right. Have a good day. All right. See you later. Bye.